Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Tawana Speaks TV. Welcome to another episode of Tawana Speaks TV. I'm your host, Tawana Kelly, your fear-busting advancement coach. Every week on Tawana Speaks TV, we cover topics that help you to overcome some fears or barriers or obstacles that are helping you or stand, standing in your way for success. We definitely want you to be as successful and live the life that you are destined to live as possible. So here, that is our mission, to help you live the life you are destined to live by overcoming those barriers. So, this week's topic is changing your circumstances. There are times when we know deep down in our soul that we need to make certain changes in our life. But those changes are difficult because it could mean leaving behind people or letting go people that we have always loved and feel obligated to. So it makes it really difficult to make certain changes that are necessary. But in order for you to grow and for you to proceed to the next level that you are destined to reach, you have to make some hard choices and some hard decisions. Changing your circumstances is one of those hard things that we must do as growing adults. Okay? And we're all growing and expanding in our own way. So what you want to do is think about what you need to do to, take, to change your circumstances and move to the next level and make it happen. Let me give you a little bit of my story. I was living in Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. That's right. I love Baltimore. But it came to a point where I felt stagnant and I felt like I couldn't grow. I felt stifled. Everywhere I looked, I felt repressed. I felt like I couldn't be myself. I couldn't grow. I couldn't expand. I couldn't, you know, Go try all the things that I was willing and able to try. Every time I tried different things that I might be interested in or wanted to move into, I was I was always met, met with um, opposition. I didn't want that. So I said, okay, what am I going to do to change my circumstances? What else is there out there? This can't be it. There's got to be something else out there for me. So I thought and thought and thought and thought. And the more stifled and repressed I felt, the more irritated and frustrated I got, the more bored with my life I got, and I couldn't seem to focus on what I wanted to do with my life, take my life to the next level. I got into the field that I wanted to get into. So I, w I was enjoying the career that I wanted, so that wasn't an issue for me. But even though you may reach a certain goal, you always get to the point when you reach that goal when you ask yourself, now what? What's next? And I was at that point. I had gotten into the career that I wanted for so many years, and I had been doing it for a very long time and very well. So I was at the point, okay, this is great. Now what? What else is there? But I couldn't see past that question. I couldn't figure out what was next. What should I do next? What is next for me? Have you ever felt that way where you were just stuck and you couldn't figure out what your next move should be? You know you needed to do something, but you just couldn't figure out what it was that you should do to get out of the rut that you felt like you were in? Well, that's exactly where I was. So I started thinking. I had always heard that in order to get something different, you have to do something different. So I started to think, what different could I be doing at this point? to change my circumstances. Changing the friends or family that I was around wasn't really an option. Um, I loved my friends and family, but I needed to expand a little bit more beyond. And again, every time I tried to do something a little different, I was met with opposition. So I said, okay, what I need to do is make a drastic change. So I decided that I wanted to move out of state all by my lonesome, no, by myself, with no one else, and I didn't really know anyone else where I was moving to. So I decided, where am I going to move to? So I picked two places that I visited 
many times before in the past. California and Georgia. So, California and Georgia. Now, whenever you're going to make a big move in your life, you have to do some due diligence. You have to think, process, you know, process it, um, kind of mull it over and do your research to figure out this is the right thing to do. You can't just go willy-nilly moving into certain circumstances without really giving it some thought and research. So I started researching what it would be like to live in Atlanta, what it would be like to live in Los Angeles. And if any of you have ever done any research on the cost of living, <laughs> you know that, it, that uh, Atlanta is so much more feasible in terms of living expenses in California. Los Angeles was just out of my range. So I said, okay, I'll just keep LA as my, my vacation spot, my go-to spot when I need to get away. So I'll move to Atlanta. So I picked up everything and I moved to Atlanta. That's right. Again, I didn't know anyone here. It was just me by myself. No husband, no boyfriend, no children, no mom, dad, brother, sisters, nothing. It was just me. My friends were thinking I was crazy. Everybody thought I was crazy. Like, what are you doing? Why are you going by yourself? And that's the thing, everyone. Not everyone is going to get what you have to do for yourself. Not everyone is going to understand it. And again, it's okay that people don't understand what you're trying to do, but you cannot let that deter you. So I said, I'm going to go. When I put my mind to this is what I needed to do, there was no turning back. Now, for months and months and months, I kept saying, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. You ever get into that, I'm going to stage? I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Well, I was there for several months. I'm going to move, I'm going to move. And I was excited about the prospect of moving. I felt free. Like, wow, I can really start anew. Then I started thinking, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I've been saying I'm going to for months now. What is actually stopping me? So I was at my desk at work one day, and I said, you know what? There's absolutely nothing stopping me. Let me go. Let me figure this out right now. So I wrote on a piece of paper a timeline of what I needed to do to prepare for my move and at what stage I needed, what time frame I needed to make that happen. And let me tell you something. Once I wrote that down, it became real. It became so real. Whenever you are wrestling with something or trying to figure out some things or you need to make a plan, write it down. When you write things down, it becomes real. So at that point, I started to get excited. I started to look at this as a new adventure. So I said, okay. So then I decided every time frame, every interval, every milestone I hit right at the given time. Up until the time I moved, I gave away all my furniture, I gave away everything, sold everything, gave it away, and even sold my cars, and I moved. Got off the plane, and I was here. And let me tell you something, it's been almost five years now, and I have gotten much more clarity, so much more clarity on where I want to take my life that I don't think if I hadn't made this change in my life, I wouldn't have had the clarity that I have now on what I want to do with my life. That brought me here to you guys today. The clear vision of where I want my life to be. It wouldn't have happened if I stayed stuck in my circumstances. Of course it was very difficult leaving family and friends. That's all I've known my entire life. But it took a lot of courage, I think, to, to, to step out. Doing things differently than, we're, than what you've always done before, it will take courage. It will take bravery, and you cannot let that deter you. Do not let that frighten you and stop you and keep you stuck. There's so much more on the other side of that fear than you would ever think possible. So I made that move and I, I love that I made that move. I am so thankful every single day that I made the, decided to make that major change in my life, change my circumstances. I've met new friends, I've, I've developed a new circle of people to be in, involved in and around and I'm really excited about what I've chosen, the direction I've chosen to take my life. And so I'm here to tell you, if you are stuck, you absolutely must make a major change in your life. It will bring you clarity beyond belief. 
you'll be able to figure out what it is that you want, where you want to go, what you want to do, when you take yourself out of the same old uh, routine that you find yourself in daily. Okay? So you have to make changes in your life. That is the whole focus of today. Change your circumstances in order to have a major change in your life. I guarantee you it will work. Give it some thought. Do your due diligence. Don't just go willy-nilly moving out or you know making major changes without thinking about it. Don't do it on a whim. Do your due diligence. Do all of your research and then make the move. Do not let the prospect of you doing it alone or that people are going to try to talk you out of it deter you. It's your destiny. They don't have to understand it. Have a clear vision about your life and go for it. So that's the message today. Change the circumstances in your life and you will see such a change. Such a change. Such a clear direction of where you want to go. Doors will open up in a way you never thought that they would open up. I never thought I'd be here where I am today with you. All because I made the major change in my life and it's been amazing. So I challenge you today, I challenge you today, look at what you want to do with your life. If you feel that you're in a rut or that you need a major change in your life, do not, do not sit on that and do nothing. We all know what that means. If you do nothing, you'll always get nothing, right? <laughs> you'll get the same old thing that you've always done if you keep doing the same thing you're doing. So make that change. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Tawana Speaks TV, and I'll see you next week. And stay fearless. <laughs>